The downward dog stretch. This was made famous in the yoga community, but it is a great exercise to open up the hips, hamstrings, upper body, shoulders, literally everything, and is a staple for many yoga classes. So why the hell not put it into a strength and conditioning program? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna set up in a push-up position. So we're gonna go here, and without moving your hands or feet anywhere, you wanna think of driving your hips back and leading your chest towards the wall behind you. You're gonna hold for a second, and you're gonna return back to that push-up position. See again, my hands and feet are not moving anywhere as I'm going through this position. Now, if again, you have any kind of low back, uh, sciatic issues or anything like that, you can bend the knees to relieve any kind of nerve tension. So all you would have to do is as you're coming back, you're gonna bend the knees more and really drive your chest back and then return. This is a great variation for anyone who's even um, a little bit tight in the hips and the low back to kind of have a more gentle approach to the downward dog. So you don't have to feel that you have to like push through pain or anything like that. So putting that all together is the downward dog stretch, which is going to be really great to kind of get some more, more mobility in those chest, shoulders, hips, hamstrings, everything. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.